Installing Pocket Mac for BlackBerry. Before installing Pocket Mac for BlackBerry, please make sure you're running on an Intel processor computer or higher. To check your uh, system requirements, please go to the Apple in the upper left hand corner about this Mac, and you'll see the processor here. If you're running PowerPC, unfortunately Pocket Mac for BlackBerry does not support PowerPC architecture. Let's get started. We're going to download Pocket Mac for BlackBerry. You can use your internet browser, Safari, or Firefox. And we're just going to go to the search box, and we're going to search for download. The topmost download, pocketmac.com forward slash download, period PHP. We're going to click here, and Pocket Mac for BlackBerry on the downloads page. Our download would now begin. When the download's complete, we're going to install Pocket Mac for BlackBerry. Before installing Pocket Mac for BlackBerry as well, please go to Apple, System Preferences, fourth row down System, and then Accounts. And make sure your user account, my account, has administrator privileges. If it doesn't, unlock the padlock, enter the password, and adjust the account to reflect administrative privileges. Okay, our download is now complete. Now we're going to begin the installation of Pocket Mac for BlackBerry. Double click. Click open if you need to click open regarding uh, internet downloads. And type in your password. quit Safari in the background here. Okay, select destination. Applications is the default location for Pocket Mac for BlackBerry. This is where you want to install the program. Click continue. Easy install. Install. If your BlackBerry is connected to your Mac, please disconnect it before continuing with the installation. So if you have your BlackBerry plugged in via USB cable, disconnect it. Click continue. The installation will begin. Installation prompt uninstall previously installed versions of Pocket Mac for BlackBerry. This is previous versions of Pocket Mac, for instance, Pocket Mac for BlackBerry version 4. Click uninstall here to remove the previously installed version. This will now process and search your Macintosh HD for older files and folders pertaining to Pocket Mac for BlackBerry version 4. This will take anywhere between one and five minutes depending on computer speed. And During the uninstall phase, the prompt will appear, remove Pocket Mac Sync Manager also. Please click yes here. And the uninstall will continue. Once this process is complete, the installation will begin with Pocket Mac for BlackBerry version 5. When the uninstall is complete, the install support for synchronizing Entourage prompt will appear. If you plan to synchronize with Entourage, Contacts, Calendar, Task, Notes, 2008, please click Install here. Next prompt, install support for synchronizing with Entourage 2011. This is for Outlook 2011 Contacts. Click Install here if you plan to synchronize with Outlook. 2011 contacts. Install support for synchronizing with Lotus Notes. This is if you plan to synchronize with Lotus Notes. Click install to synchronize with Lotus Notes.
the installer has detected another Mac BlackBerry synchronization application. For Pocket Mac to work correctly, this app must be disabled. Disable now. This prompt is appearing due to BlackBerry Desktop Manager or Mark Space or Missing Sync for BlackBerry are installed. Click Disable Now to disable those applications for Pocket Mac to function. The installer will continue. Launch Pocket Mac for BlackBerry at startup. This prompt is for Pocket Mac to be up here in your menu bar when you boot up your Mac. We're going to say yes here, launch at startup. Installation was successful. Need to restart your computer. When the Mac reboots, we'll be right back. Welcome back. After reboot of installation of Pocket Mac for BlackBerry, You'll notice Pocket Mac is up here in your menu bar if you chose to launch it startup. Alternatively, if Pocket Mac is not there, go into your hard drive, applications, and down to Pocket Mac for BlackBerry. Double click and it'll appear up here in your menu bar. This is Pocket Mac's uh, help window telling you where Pocket Mac now lives and how to run it. However, we need to register. Locate your name, email, and serial number. Your serial number was emailed to you when you purchased Pocket Mac for BlackBerry. It should come from order confirmation at pocketmac.net. So we're going to grab that serial number. We're going to put in paste, copy and paste, apple C, apple V as in Victor, or command C and command V, register, and thank you for your purchase. Pocket Mac for BlackBerry, 504, latest version, should be installed. Show preferences, these are all the synchronization preferences that Pocket Mac supports and apps. You'll see you have Apple Address Book, Apple iCal, Apple Stickies, Daylight, Entourage 2008, Lotus Notes, iTunes, and iPhoto. Office 2011 would be here if we chose Outlook 2011 in the install prompt. We have synchronization preferences and settings under each supported application. Apple Address Book, contact synchronization. OK to sync contact should be checked if you want to synchronize between your BlackBerry and Apple address book. Sync all categories and two-way sync are the default synchronization preferences. Um, those are for if you have additional groups or categories in your Apple address book they will appear here and overwrite device and overwrite Mac are if you want to send the sync one direction, you want to overwrite your BlackBerry or overwrite your Apple address book in this case with your BlackBerry data. iCal is the same. OK to sync appointments. Sync all categories. Sync only categories selected below. These categories are the calendars within iCal. So for this video tutorial, you'll notice we have homework and pocket Mac. If you have additional calendars here, um, those calendars should be listed here. Again, two-way sync, overwrite device, overwrite Mac. Default category Pocket Mac. This is appointments synchronizing from your BlackBerry to iCal. If you want calendar items to go to a uh, specific calendar in iCal, for instance, Pocket Mac, Home, or Work, choose the default category before synchronizing. This is helpful if you have a lot of work appointments or home appointments on your BlackBerry and you want to send those to a uh, specific calendar in iCal. We'll leave it at the default of Pocket Mac for now. Don't sync items older than X amount of days. This is if you want Pocket Mac to not pick up items older than 5 days, 2 days, 30 days, etc, etc. Tasks. Same thing here. 
Okay, to sync tasks, these are to-do items, sync all categories, uh, your calendars in iCal, additional calendars will be listed here, should they be in iCal. Two-way sync and default category. Don't sync items older than X amount of days, and don't sync items marked as completed. If you have completed tasks, <clears throat> those won't be uh, synchronized if you check this box. Stickies, this is your memo pad or your notes on your BlackBerry. Uh, synchronizing with Apple stickies. There's no advanced preferences here. Daylight, another supported application. Contacts, calendar, and tasks. Notes are not supported in daylight. Same uh, schematic and same setup as Apple address book, iCal, and stickies. Set your preferences above. OK to sync. OK to sync. OK to sync. If using daylight and uh, sync all categories, two-way sync, etc, etc. Now over to Entourage. Same setting here, if you want to synchronize with Entourage 2008, check your box, OK to sync contacts, OK to sync appointments, OK to sync tasks, OK to sync notes. Again, sync all categories and all your settings. By default, all Pocket Mac synchronization preferences are set to sync all categories and two-way sync. The user just needs to click the OK to sync box to basically enable the preference to synchronize. Lotus Notes, same setup if you plan to synchronize with Lotus Notes 7 or 8. OK to sync contacts, OK to sync appointments, OK to sync tasks. iTunes and iPhoto. This is to push playlists or songs within that playlist to your BlackBerry. Please note, you need to have mass storage mode support on on your BlackBerry. In addition, you need to have a micro SD storage card installed on your BlackBerry. The storage card is a little chip um, that looks very much like a SIM card. It goes into the rear of your BlackBerry, sometimes on the side. Um, you put the chip in, it expands your device's memory to install uh, additional content or save additional content such as pictures, music, video, etc. Your playlists and your songs would appear on the right here um, when you have set up iTunes and your music within those playlists. Same thing for iPhoto. You can push iPhoto um, photos to your Blackberry. You can also keep them organized uh, by photo album. Same thing here, make sure mass storage mode support is on. Again, you have a BlackBerry micro SD card uh, in your BlackBerry to store photos. These little uh, preferences here, scale photos for device, this will scale them down to uh, look more friendly, uh, user friendly on your phone rather than blown up or, or extra large. Keep photos organized by album, this is for keeping your photos organized by album. If you have an album, say, Summer Trip 2009, and you have photos within that album, Summer Trip 2009, Pocket Mac will send that photo over, and the album, all organized by the folder. Import photos to iPhoto, this is the other direction. This will take photos from your BlackBerry and put them into iPhoto. We recommend folks create a uh, BlackBerry photo album in iPhoto or something along those lines, mobile photos, what have you.